large batches thing for meals. And of course, we are the music place, so we have three wonderful acts tonight. Uh, I want to say hello and thank you to our landlord, Bob Sullivan, and his lovely wife, Helen. Amazing human beings. They have been very supportive. Alan Carter has been a big advocate of ours. Hello, Alan. Love you. Uh, Drew Edmondson is a, is, a, is a guy who's always sort of um, been around VZDs over the, the years as he ran for governor and blah, 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 blah. We have his niece here performing. So it's, uh, that's, they're big family friends of mine, and this is very exciting for me. Hannah Edmondson will be our first act tonight, followed by Albert Aguilar, followed by Adam Aguilar, laced with cooking, sh cooking segments and DG painting. So uh, I think it's time that we get started. What do you think, Chris? You think we ought to get some music going? Yeah? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Velma Alma, Joe Hopkins, accompanying the lovely Hannah Edmondson. Falling in love. 
Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, that was a cover, um, a David Bowie cover, sort of a B-side. This next one is an original. Uh, this one's called The Desert. Skylar Perkins? Skylar Perkins, yes. leaving a drink for, for DG over here. <laughs> nice. We'll start early. A chip on your shoulder, salt in your hair, you're not getting old. Feeling good out there from Sorry. the couch? Or? Robin Byford, $100. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Robin. April Harbert, $30. $30. Thank you very, very much.
next one's called Harder. It's on the album that uh, we just put out real recently, and it's on Spotify. It's all over the internet. And while we're spending so much time with the internet, if you feel like checking it out, feel free. Uh, this one's called Harder. and the pride of Alma Alma, Joe Hopkins. Uh, I want to talk about some of our sponsors again. Let's talk about uh, OAC Fitness uh, is sending lunch over to the Bradford Village Healthcare nursing staff. That is this Friday. We're bringing it, bringing it there. Alex Aguilar and the guys with OAC Fitness. Uh, Handmade Homes, Chris Klein, we heart you. You're a savage. Thank you so much for helping us out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, so blessed to have so many people help us with, with everything that we're, that, we're, that we're trying to do here with our live streams. Spark Creative has helped us so much. I'm going to be doing some cooking segments, which will be sponsored by U.S. Foods and the Meat House of Edmond. They are at 2249 Danforth in Edmond. They are open for, for pickup. They have helped us out. We're going we're gonna to do some steaks here in a little bit, kind of do a little cooking demo. Uh, speaking of DG Smalling, DG Smalling is doing a live painting and uh, the, the, the auction money will go toward YWCA. So why don't we, guys you want to cut over there? I also, have, I've heard rumors that Albert Aguilar may cover I Saw a Tiger by Joe Exotic. I don't know if he, I don't know. I, I thought I heard it when he was warming up, but I, it could be bullshit. But, we're going to go talk to DG Smalling and see what he's got going with, uh, with the, the painting. All right. So just tell me when. Are we good? We're good. We're live. Good. Okay, so, so tell us, uh, DG, about uh, yourself, 
what you do as an artist, your your involvement with with the art community, the um, indigenous peoples community, anything like that. Let's hear. It. Well, you know, firstly, I'm very pleased to be here. It's kind of funny to be back at VZDs for something like this. Uh, years ago, when I was a DJ with uh, the Spy, uh, Thursday nights we had a uh, an evening here where we played music from the program from First Nations and Indian Country. So it's really cool to be oh, back for awesome. that. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, cool. You know, secondly, you know. I live here in Oklahoma City. My family are obviously from Oklahoma. We're Choctaw, uh, from Southeast Oklahoma. And so I know, and Skylar Perk has already called in. So clearly some people down in Southeast are watching. You know, for, I'm very privileged that for my nation, Choctaw, uh, one of our master artists, which just means I get to do the really cool shit. Yeah. And, um, and I like the fact that I could say that because of her streaming. Yeah, yeah I always yeah. had to watch that on the spy. When I, we I, I hear so, you, yeah. But, you know, my style is trying to contemporize and maintain a, a, uh, our hieroglyph designs in a more contemporary way. And hieroglyphs are t generally known for being heavy and no movement. And I do mine in one continuous line so that there is flexibility, that there is movement. And, and so what I'm going to do today is an extension of a project in a series that I've been doing with the U.S. Department of Interior. It's the largest multi-agency law enforcement initiative in U.S. history on the issue of violence against women. And this, it's named after one of my paintings that's the NDC at Interior called uh, Lady Justice. And the operation is called Operation Lady Justice. And, and part of the things that we need to remember right now since we're in quarantine or about to go into quarantines and more severe types of quarantine is that you know, we need to pay attention to our neighbors. And if we know that there are issues of violence, particularly domestic violence, that we have resources like first beginning with the police, but also we have the YWCA. We have people like Jan Peary. We have others in this excellent Palomar. city Palomar's that, great. that absolutely yep. deal with it. And so that's part of why that's very much in my heart because of my people were matrilineal, matriarchal people. So at this moment, just in, as we're, around each other more than usual, that we uh, are conscious about that time together and our neighbors. I can't wait to see what you do. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of uh, art by indigenous people. My, da my dad was from Muskogee and he actually went to high school with uh, Johnny and Jerome Tiger. Dang, yeah. that's, that's... So I kind of grew up with some, I have some of their pieces in my fantastic. house. And so I, I'm a that's huge fan. I'm right a huge there. fan of yours. So uh, la ladies and gentlemen, once again, DG Smalling is going to do a live art piece that we'll be checking back in with him. We're going to do some cooking segments, yeah. some more music. Uh, Albert's going to, he's still working on, I saw a tiger back there in the back. He's going to play some shit here in a little bit. Uh, Adam Aguilar, our, uh, our very own Adam Aguilar, will close the show out. That's right. So we're going to let DG get to here it. And uh, so, so here we go. The, the money from the painting goes to the YWCA. The text mechanism is on there by Respond Flow. Uh, let's. Are you guys ready up there? Wait, hold let's on. go back. No, wait, okay, hold on well, one second. He's got one more thing. No, actually, we're gonna draw it. So, you, are you got this on? You ready? Okay, here we so go. Here we go. So the the design is based upon a fancy shawl dancer. The fancy shawl dancers for women are trying to emulate the butterfly. And so what I'm doing right now, just put it here. And instead of a lance, we're gonna notice that she's, it's carried a pin because that's how we do things now in order to affect our justice in this country. We have- the Notice that he hasn't picked the pin up once. It's amazing to be right here and see this. Now. We'll get the body in, and then we'll go to the most important part, which is our shield. Because in most of our cultures, we have a conch, and this is very universal. You'll find this in many other cultures, this idea of the interlocking arm. And the idea of our collective responsibility, or our responsibility to the collective is 50% of our lives, but then to each other, or to ourselves, it's 50%, which is very important. Now, in this time period, we gotta be careful and be cautious, and we need to be 
vigilant for our neighbors who are stuck in places that they might that are just going to exasperate things that are already wrong and that's where we being civil this being an act of civility and you guys being you know mindful people out there do the same for your neighbors absolutely so. look out for one another we which reminds me we still have some of our funding from last week for people who can't afford carry out food six zero two three zero zero six we will be back open for curbside on um, monday and we still have some of the funding left of people who can call in who couldn't afford food that were given by uh ned aguilar mitch mcquistian the klein family and alex aguilar so without further ado can we cut are Absolutely. we ready for some tunes joe exotic hopkins <laughs> <laughs> i want to give a shout out to denver kitchen matt crodel okay okay I'm back up here. Matt Crodel, the utility man from A to Z. OKC's Martin Gore from Depeche Mode. Those of you guys who don't know Depeche Mode. Matt Crodel is the best utility band guy in the city. He gave some money for us tonight. Denver Kitsch, our dear friend. We love you, Denver Kitsch. Now, back to the, back to the, real, the real shit, I guess you would say. <laughs> Joe Exotic Hopkins from Velma, Alma, Oklahoma. <laughs> Hannah Edmondson of the, of the lovely Edmondson family, originally from Muskogee, Oklahoma. The record is called... Oh, Can't Very Well. Can't Very Well. I love the title. We did her record release show about two months ago. Here we go. Hannah Edmondson, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to <laughs> jump. <laughs> Another cover. What you got? Precious time when time is new and all, all through the night today, knowing that we'd feel the same without saying. Cat keeps crying, so stray cat sings back and all through the night. They have forgotten what by day they lack and all under those white street lamps. There is a
gonna play an original now, just to mix it up. Uh, this one is called Whenever, and the first time I played it in front of anybody, I played it here. Um, so yeah, VZDs is a really special place, and it means a lot to me, and I wouldn't know Joe without VZDs. I might not be playing music without VZDs. So any support that you can give, even if you're just watching the live stream, uh, we really appreciate it because this is a very, very important, really historic spot. So, all right, this one's called Whenever.
we'll cover for you. All right, thanks for watching this tune. Uh, we're gonna, Appreciate it. We're going to do uh, one more, and then we're going to cut back over to Eric and DG. This song is called The Promise. If you need a friend, don't look to a stranger. All right. I promised my partners that I wouldn't cuss, but holy shit, that was good. That's one of my favorite 80s songs. That is, was that When in Rome? Is that who did it? Yeah. Uh, so that is such an awesome song. That is Hannah Edmondson. She will be back with two more songs here in a little bit. We've had a few more donations. Brian and Connie Edmondson, who birthed this lovely human being, uh, contributed 200 bucks. Uh, God, I swear to God I'm going to mess this up, but, um, oh, that's DG. I thought somebody was knocking. I was like, hey, there's not even anybody here. Okay, so uh, Michelle Boothion, 
our, our brother from La Baguette bought our chef and show. We love you, Michelle. We and his brother. We can do more of those too if you want. We can do more chef and shows. They're, uh, Michelle Bouthion, um, one of the literal forefathers of the Oklahoma restaurant scene here. He and his brother, Alan, a wonderful chef. Thank you, thank you guys. And thank you to everyone who um, has paved the way for the wonderful restaurant community that we have. Uh, Lori at Stella, amazing human. We love Misty, their, her chef, Kurt Fleischfresser, who did his very best to teach a young yours truly how to cook. Uh, well, let's go see what let's go see what DG's doing down here because this is looking really cool. I'm going to jump down. So just so you know, you can be texting in your your uh, bids or donations right now to the phone number that's on your screen. So. I'm just working right now, putting in the colors. I'm my style. I use a lot of mainly on wood because most of my stuff tends to be larger format. Like this is tiny for me, you know. Right, the right, right. Yeah, they're like ten yeah, foot they're plus. Giant. Sure. So, but I you love the wood, and I'm using taggy materials, and it's great because especially for our younger uh, native artists and students, they can look at this and they know. Okay, as long as I know from what I'm talking about, I can use any material. And so that's part of the reason why I use it. And so yeah, it kind of resonates with them, with the next generation. Absolutely. Sure, sure, sure. And so talk a little bit about this inter interlocking uh, arm here, this piece right here. I'll show that to you a bit. You notice, you've seen this on many different designs. It's four hands reaching in, grabbing a wrist. And, you know, that very much speaks to now as well in a community. because. You know, my parents are missionary aid worker types, and this is not the first time I have ever been in a situation where you got to lock down in a community and you got to rely on those around you. And there is something wonderfully resetting if we receive it in this time for period. It's frustrating, but to know that you have certain people that you can interlock with. Yep. It's also good to know who you can't. Oh, I think you. There, There's you're, a lot you're of that going a lot on about right now. During this, I think uh, in this in the in this time of, of need or 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 and, calmness or whatever you would and, like to call. It. And what we have right here, I, what I like about this, you know, VCDs has always been a center for the the arts community and the music community. But you know, what's nice now is this is a great example throughout the community of what civil society means. How you keep and maintain your local when you're cut off this way. And so I think that's a really good thing to remember. Right, right, and, it, and it's even further challenged by the, the, we can't congregate in very many numbers of people, so then it's, you know, we have to really sort of stay linked with our devices and our text, which by the way, guys, text in, we're gonna, we're at, what's our bidding at on the, on the picture so far, guys? Uh, I'm not sure yet, we're getting uh, uh, We just got 25. Okay, it's coming in from different directions, so we're having a hard time understanding which one of the, the pledges are, are bids for this, but we're going to sort it out. This, this is going to be a magnificent piece for your home. It's to benefit YWCA. Uh, I'm going to jump back up here. You guys, going to do one, you guys are going to do one more cut. Hannah's going to do it. Perfect. Okay, I've got a couple of announcements. Thank you again to the Edmondson family for uh, your pledge. Uh, well, let's backtrack Matt Crodel. I'm gonna be doing uh, some steaks from the Meat House in Edmond. Uh, you can go by Meats there, 2249 Danforth. Michelle Jacques Boutillon, we heart you. Uh, when they get back open, they have, a, they have their own butcher shop. They have a wonderful French restaurant. They are titans in this restaurant uh, industry. Also, Greg Welchel from Trichology Salon. Uh, he wanted me to say he's give, gonna give half price Joe, Joe Exotic haircuts when this, when this is all done. It's the new Gundy, I've heard. Uh, there's no one here to laugh. I can't even tell if my shit's funny. So uh, let's, one, let's go one more time. Are we doing one more? I don't care. I don't care. Let's do two more. Two more. Uh, Hannah Edmondson. Can't very well is the name of her record. Please go buy it or stream it or however you. Uh, obtain your music. Here we go. Two more cuts. Hannah Edmondson.
Joe and, and Albert, thanks, guys. Um, all right, one more, and then we're going to see what else is shaken. Uh, up next, music-wise, we've got Albert Aguilar and Adam Aguilar. No relation. Just joking. I'm just they're no, they're a very talented family. Um, I will. 
The heat is glistening off the sidewalks that I tread upon. One gleam from your dark eyes and all of my fear is gone. And I believe that something beautiful has just begun. And all the laces crisscross in my so much for tuning in. Let's throw it back over to Eric, I believe, who's going to show us how to cook. Something. All right. <clears throat> All right. Are we, are we back on, guys? All right. Okay, so uh, let's do a couple of thank yous real fast. Uh, we're about to make some steaks. They are from the Meat House in Edmond. Um, they're on 2249 West Danforth Road. Uh, U.S. Foods is, uh, is sponsoring us tonight. Mickey is our guy over there. Amazing dude, Bogey Ramirez, you're, you're the man. Um, so what, when we talked about doing food for this, we, yes. We got a couple call-ins or, or donations. So Kim Hopper for 25 bucks. Kim Hopper. Um, Mary Edmondson, proud cousin for $100. Mary Edmondson, proud cousin. Uh, Wex Audio for 50 bucks. Wex Audio, Wexler. kudos. Wexler. We are at $2,000. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, apparently, the cast from uh, uh, Roadhouse called in here. So uh, Garrett and John Dalton called in and gave 100 bucks, uh, which I'm going to blow the whistle. That was actually my buddy Spinozzi that's on the Sports Animal. He called in. Thank you so much. Thanks to all you guys. Curtis Fitzpatrick. Um, Gosh, what, our dear friend Randy Byford, right, Adam, is, has, has, we've done some, some uh, remotes with him. Robin Love Robin Byford. Uh, called in and, and or texted in, which you guys can do, text in. and, and So let's cook. Uh, so when we talked about showing some food, I, I thought it was important to, in this time, I think it's pretty important to uh, make, make things in batches that you can use uh, over the course of, a couple of days uh, they can be used on a number of things so I'm gonna make a wild mushroom cream sauce that we are going to put on penne pasta but it's also something you could put on fish or steak we're gonna put it on uh, put a steak on there from the meat house uh, so let's get going I don't know if you guys are familiar with these but these are really awesome that you can you can pick up for your home on on any of the the online stores this is an induction burner so this burner does uh, does not operate actually with fire or in that manner, it's a ferromagnetic heat that reacts with this pan, and uh, it gets hot super fast, and you can sort of cook remotely with it. So anyway, back to our uh, wild mushroom and rosemary cream sauce. This is garlic oil that we make here at the restaurant, so we steep it in garlic, and then we strain the, strain the garlic out, and you're left with this aromatic 
uh, oil here. I'm going to coat the pan a little bit with that. Um, so we have the essence of the garlic in the oil. Mm -hmm. We have rosemary here and we have, you can use whatever mushrooms that you can find. I know the supermarkets are a little bit limited right now. These are just good old button mushrooms. So we got button mushrooms. We've got red onion. We've got rosemary. We're in the pan with the oil. We're going to go with the onions. I'm going to go a little hotter on my pan. So we're going to start, start our cream sauce here. And start with the mushrooms as well. So next what we're going to do is we are going, we have this wonderful steak from the meat house. And what I did is I chopped up some rosemary and I marinated it in uh, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of coffee grounds. Kind of helps to tenderize the meat. And so we've got rosemary. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Our mushrooms are doing their thing here. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper here. This is our chopped rosemary in here in the sauce. Okay. So the next thing that's going to happen is this is white wine. We're going to deglaze the pan with white wine and then we're going to reduce the cream right down to there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to hand this off to my, my handy dandy helper here off camera. And so you're going to take this to the back and add the cream and we're, and then we'll bring it back. There's the cream. Okay. So this steak has been seared. Um, and, and the magic of television cooking. So we have one here that's already done. So I'm going to show you. Can you guys see on there, Chris and Christopher? Can you see this? Yeah? Okay. So you see this side ridge right here? We're going to cut that off. Okay. That comes off. Any of your gristly right here, trim that out. Trim this end off. What happened? Bottle. Move the bottle. Move the bottle. Albert Aguilar is getting, is getting sound checked over there. So if you hear anything, if you hear any like uh, parts of I saw a tiger or anything like that. Once again, Greg Welchel from Trichology Salon giving half price Joe exotic haircuts. Adam Aguilar's helped me out with the, with the deal there. No relation. Okay, so see what, I'm, see what I'm left with here. Is this wonderful strip steak. So I like to, you hear, you hear all these um, chefly terms, cut on a bias. It really, it just makes it look nicer and it, and it exposes more of the interior of the meat. We're going to cut this at an angle. Hey, Adam, can you go grab my cream sauce from, from our, our backstage? Uh, chef staff the cream sauce that he's making over there back back with Blake in the in the crown room kitchen and, and ladies and gentlemen we are in case in case those out there we don't know this um, our group here which is uh, Ned Aguilar Adam Aguilar Mark Klein we operate VZDs the crown room which is a, a 12 seat uh, fine dining by appointment only uh, restaurant next door and then we have Pachinko parlor down at parlor food hall so we are going to slice up our steak. See these really nice. This is about a medium rare. That's about a true medium rare. Uh, you can, you could bump it up. We've seared it off on the stove. And then what's the, the magic of the magic of television. Isn't that what that one guy used to say before he, he got me too'd off of TV, the magic of television. It's back. Okay. This is our cream sauce. And we are going to let that reduce down a little bit. Once again, lovely strip steak from the Mead House in Edmond. Help with our dear friends from U.S. Foods. Mickey is our guy there. We still have what? Where are we at, Klein? Did we get any more? Yeah, we got a couple more. Hit me up. Honickers. Daniel, Tiffany, Hollis, and Lou. 
Daniel, Tiffany, Hollis, and Lou. Daniel, Tiffany, Hollis, and Thank you so much. Hundred bucks. Thank you. Marilyn and Vicky, yep. blessings and stay safe. And then our, our roadhouse bouncers came in, Dalton and Garrett with a hundred bucks. Okay. okay, you guys can see, so what happens is we added the white wine, Blake took it over to the crown room and reduced it a little bit. And then he added our heavy cream. And you can see how this is really starting to, you're getting the aromatics from the rosemary in there. You're getting the, uh, the, the mushrooms sort of surrender their their water content to a degree and it all kind of comes together in a wonderful cream sauce so we will let that reduce for just a, a few more minutes it probably needs another dab of salt and pepper i think chris and christopher are uh posting this on the on the live stream but we have red onion sauteed in garlic oil remember we just warmed up some some olive oil with some garlic cloves in it strain it out then uh we had red onion, wild mushroom, rosemary, saute, saute in your garlic oil, deglaze with white wine. Once the wine is reduced by half, then we add some heavy cream in there. And then really kind of how you, how you finish thickening up this sauce is Parmesan. So we're going to add a little Parmesan. Once that gets starting to melt, we have pasta that we pre-cooked and then we blanched it in water. That way it's warm when it goes in. Uh, we're gonna add that to the whole mix. Who's gonna eat this in our group? Oh, I DG? Am I am DG this. has volunteered to be our, I like to add a little, a little another shot of salt and pepper uh, when I add my pasta. You don't have to, but you can. Albert, how's the tuning going over there? Good, a few more minutes. Few more minutes. 2250 ladies and gentlemen we are doing we are at 2250 let's get some bids going for this 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 piece is amazing that DG's working on over here paintings at 300 let's let's boost that guys for the YWCA 300 for the painting let's get that up uh, this the, uh, the painting has some miraculous colors in it we're gonna go back to that you you will see and I have every uh, don't you think after you eat the steak, you're probably going to just really shift gears on it, DG? I think after the steak, I'm probably going to take a nap. Okay, we may not give him the steak then. <laughs> okay, so let's plate this up, finish it up. Joe, how long do we have before uh, Albert Exotic is up there? Where's Joe? He's using the restroom and we're ready. All right. Albert Aguilar is coming up um, and then our wonderful partner, Adam Aguilar, will go after him. We will keep going back to DG Smalling with his live painting. Uh, we're plating up pin A right now, guys. So I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not privy to how well. Can you guys see that pretty well, guys over there? Did you guys fall asleep? You got it? Thumbs up. Here we go. Okay. So. We have portioned this out. You can make this sauce, put it in the fridge, use it on a bruschetta. I say bruschetta, but you're supposed to say bruschetta. Put it on a bruschetta, put it on a piece of fish, put it on some pasta. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna limit DG to three slices of steak. So, oh so he doesn't gosh. go to sleep. Okay. We are finished. Well, I'm gonna put a little sauce on here. I'm gonna garnish this with some parm. Boop. Rosemary, America's favorite. There we go. There's our finished dish. That is penne pasta. Oh my God. Voice of an angel. Penne pasta, wild mushroom cream, sliced steak. This is the sound check and it's already kicking ass. Are we ready to go, guys? Are we ready to go? Five seconds. I'm back up. I hope you enjoyed our cooking segment, that it wasn't, uh, I hope that it was both informative and helpful. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. Thanks to the Meat House of Edmond. Uh, thanks to the bouncers at Roadhouse for helping us out. Garrett and Dalton, Trichology Salon, Half Price Joe Exotic Haircuts, Prepaid Bases, Free Gundy Haircuts.
right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of my favorite voices. I'm not even going to say singers because what he does is, vo is definitely voice and not singing. Wouldn't you agree with that, Joe? His voice is an instrument. He is part of the uh, unfairly genetically advantaged Aguilar family. I love him like a brother. His band is called The Odds. You can stream his music, find it, right? Yeah, yeah. At The Odds. Albert Aguilar. Thank you guys so very much. I appreciate y'all streaming with us. Uh, my name is Albert Aguilar. Um, this is a song of mine. Last year, around this time, I released uh, an album called The Odds LP. Uh, this is a song of mine called Switch off of it. It's on all streaming platforms, so if you dig it, um, pick it up. Kiss me more than twice Say that you'll never leave me And tell me to get out your life Hold me one more time 
and kiss me more than twice say that you'll never leave me and tell me to get out your life I stare at my phone waiting for you to call I know you've been there before when I was on the other side Feelings ain't changed, no one's invincible But I wait I'll wait for you, hold me one more time Kiss me more than twice Say that you'll never leave me And tell me to get out your life Hold me one more time Kiss me more than twice Say that you'll never leave me And tell me to get out your life As a matter of fact I was the one who left And now I beg for you to see The man I never wanted to be Feelings they change No one's invincible But I wait I wait for you, hold me one more time Kiss me more than twice Say that you'll never leave me And tell me to get out your life Hold me one more time Kiss me more than twice Say that you'll never leave me And tell me to get out your life I'm holding on your own Got me ten feet off the ground I'm hearing what you say But I just can't make a sound Tell me that you're sorry Then you go and cut me down but wait try to say you're sorry didn't think I turned around and say that it's too late to apologize Say something, I'm giving up on you I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you
Up to twenty-seven fifty. Uh, Thank you, guys. A big virtual round of applause for Albert Aguilar. Yeah. He's a bad man. Hey, we have an anonymous bid for five hundred dollars on the painting. Anonymous bid benefiting the YWC on the DG Smalling uh, painting. God, it's it's looking incredible. I'm going to go over there in a minute. Let's let's go back to a big thanks to uh, the Meat House of Edmond to U.S. Foods. To Alex Aguilar is uh, sending lunch in to the uh, Bradford Village Healthcare. The nursing staff over there this coming Friday, that's OAC Fitness, is providing that. We have Adam Aguilar coming up later. Big thanks again to Hannah Edmondson. Uh, Trichology Salon, half price Joe, Joe Exotic haircuts after this. He, uh, Greg Welchel from Trichology texted me. He said if he was here, he'd be shouting Freebird. I told him you probably don't know Freebird. Don't want to play Freebird. We know it, trust me. Yeah. Oh, do you? Back in the day, let's. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna jump over and uh, and, and chat with DG. He is. Uh, he's drinking his drink that uh, was provided by. Who's your? Who's your? The. This is from Skylar Perkins. Skylar Perkins, Choctaw so, Nation. Okay. A little ways. And hey, hey, mom, I'm ambidextrous, and so yeah, I'm sure she's very grateful for that shot. But yeah, this is coming along. We have. You can just tell. I, I don't know if you're able to shoot in there. Yeah. And um, so just so you know, this normally, like this kind of, this size piece in the sure. studio will be right around 5,000. And so- There you have it, guys. And this comes out of Operation Lady Justice. There's gonna be a series in it at a show that I'm gonna be doing at the Oklahoma uh, Hall of Fame So you're gonna October. be able to see a similar piece that's gigantic oh, and all yeah, of its glory absolutely. of something you could have in your home. And this, the there's one right now, the original is in uh, in the battle room for Operation Lady Justice in Washington, D.C., in the, in the Department of Interior, Interior's war room for this. And so it's it's kind of fun. I've been doing this series. Uh, we're, we're gonna be working uh, with them, doing our honor blankets, well, and other uh, merchandising for the operation. And so it's, it's one that's very much it's in my heart it's these It's beautiful, days. and it's amazing to watch how he, he drew it without lifting the pen, and then he goes back, his vision is there for it. It's, the colors are amazing. Um, we're gonna get back to some, to some tunes. We're at, we're at 500 for the painting. We're at okay. 500 for the painting. Guys, this is a, you heard him say it. And, and I wanna do, before you head over, I wanna say one thing, a couple, a couple shout outs. I want to say shout out to Assistant Secretary Tara Sweeney uh, in Washington, D.C. She's watching. Uh, she's uh, over the Bureau of Indian Affairs and Assistant Secretary of the Department of Interior. And she's the one spearheading this for all women in the United States. And then also for, uh, you know, Jan uh, Peary with uh, YWCA. And, well, there'll be a few others, but yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, DG Smalling, amazing artist. Uh, I just got word that, that uh, Brett Brewer and David Box have tuned in to our show. We always like to give credit where credit is due. The music scene in Oklahoma would not be what it is if it weren't for Jim Brewer and what he did in Bricktown, and he has built that into the amazing area that we have, Box Talent. 600, let's keep it going. Box Talent helped build the, uh, the music scene here in Oklahoma City. Uh, the history of VZDs where we're standing right now um, the, so many, so many important pieces in the Oklahoma restaurant and music scene that have made it the lovely city that we hope to get back to as soon as possible. Thanks again to Hannah Edmondson. Uh, Can't very well is the name of her record. At the odds, uh, you gonna do? A, you wanna do a little another two song set? Another, and then we're gonna jump back up and check with DG again. Ladies and gentlemen, the eighth wonder of the world, Albert Aguilar.
Hey, real quick, I want to thank uh, Nick, Natasha, and Noah for their huge donation. We love you guys. And I want to say hi to my boys. Uh, Richard, I know you're watching Texas. And, uh, I love you. Still working for Bracelet. Thank you. Auburn, I love you so much. See you in a little while. It's a song of mine called Boca. It's another song that's um, it's off the album released last year. Okay, so. Trust your lips, those bleeding eyes. Are you scared of what I know? A chore, a vampire anchored in my neck. I scream, but there is nothing left. You, you just whisper, vampire, my vampire. Oh, I have to know your hollow, but I love. See you go. You see, I watch my demons die. They were pulled right from my chest. The angels held me to the ground. Now my soul can finally rest. Phoebe. Phoebe. No. No more, no much. All right, so this is one of my favorite songs. This one's called uh, High and Dry. been 
conversation You will be the one who cannot talk It's all your insights fall to pieces You just sit there wishing You could still make love They're the ones who hate you when you think you've got the world all sussed out. They're the ones who spit at you. You'll be the one screaming out. Don't. Catching up on donations, Jenny Wynn, our friend from uh, Lee's Sandwiches in the Collective, bought a Love birthday you, party. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sheila Morago uh, said she wanted to donate $100, so she'll drop off a check. Sheila Morago, Sheila thank Morago. you. Yeah, Sheila is the executive director of the Oklahoma Gaming Association. Executive so director fantastic. of Oklahoma Gaming Association, thank you so much. Brent Phelps, uh, I want to have Brent Phelps and Rachel Lauber, $100. Love you, Breno. Thank you. Nicole Dilliner. 30 bucks. That way, Nicole Dilliner. 30 bucks. Thank you. Uh, well, we got some more. We got some people bidding on some stuff right now. I think the bidding was at 700. Uh, 
The painting is at 700, guys. You guys heard it. It's a it's about a, a $5,000 value. You are going to see a depiction of a very similar series that DG is doing in large format. This can go in your home. It is looking beautiful. Uh, Christopher, is there a way to kind of give us a little shot of the painting? Awesome. Okay. The and painting is looking miraculous. DG, you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on over so there? We're you know, basically filling out. We're going to be doing the second layer on it. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to take this back to the studio. And I've still got some touch-ups here. I'm going to go over the black line and everything. But take back to the studio. I'm going to put some sealants on it. It's going to make it really pop. And so whoever wins this, whoever uh, gets it, you know, we'll work it out time-wise. Where you come by the studio, you can pick it up. And I'm downtown in Oklahoma City, so could I mean I'm on D McGee and and, and Robinson. Doesn't get more downtown than that. Yeah. And so yeah, that okay, so that's coming along. We got we got one. Uh, Say it. Ron and Denise Suttles <laughs> um, wanted our to come to their place and play a little music, maybe for seven hundred fifty dollars. Absolutely. So that's a done deal. You can tell uh, Ron and Denise. Ron and Denise, they're, they're going to do an in-home concert with uh, uh, Albert Aguilar. And they are brunch buddies of mine. And they're brunch buddies of DG. So we all uh, are so grateful to all the dear friends and help that we had. Thanks to U.S. Foods. Thanks to the Meat House of Edmond. Uh, thanks for Trichology Salon for the half-price uh, Joe Exotic haircuts and free Gundies. Uh, thanks to the bouncers from Roadhouse. Thanks to uh, everyone who helped build the restaurant and music scene in Oklahoma City. Uh, Tyson Mead, founding father of the music scene here, he did a live stream a week or so ago. Maybe we'll get him in here. Maybe we'll, we'll figure out with DG of, of another painter or two that might want to come in and, and uh, do a live painting for a cause. Uh, without for, Oh, it looks like we've switched instruments back here. Yeah. Does it, that doesn't mean we're going to see I saw a tiger, does it? No. No. Uh, I, yeah. You know, I tried to do free bird. I tried to do I saw a tiger. We're going to let him do his own thing, though, as it should be. I'm going to do a cooking demonstration after two or three more shows. We're going to show you how to, two or three more songs, not shows. I'm going to show you how to emulsify a vinaigrette, a balsamic vinaigrette that you can have at home. The eighth wonder of the world, Albert Aguilar. I am a shallow grave I'm a holy ghost That you're missing most Is for me I am that single ring And that you're quitting on Is for me Like my you I'm a hip swinger So sad Whoa, your mind. I'm only one man. Sarah, thank you so much. We love you. Sarah Smith, she's amazing. Wow. 4,000, you guys, already. 4,000. Thank you all so very much. I got a few more tunes for you guys, I think. Maybe one. But Brent Phelps, my buddy Breno, um, he's watching Kansas City, and he asked me if this song was on the set list, and I said no, and then he told me I better expletive deleted, put it on the set list. So 
this one's for you, Brent. Take me as I am, give me away. I'm a man, I made my mistakes. Humble me with mercy, I'll make you believe. Won't you please, please forgive me? Feeling kind of lucky. You see, she told me, well, she warned me that I'd go running back. I said, You're crazy. Spreading back to madness, my weakness is coming. But it takes a lot for one to say he's wrong. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. I think we figured out who said that first. Take me as I am, give me away. I'm a man, I made my mistakes. Humble me with mercy, I'll make you believe. Won't you please, please? Forgive me. You want to do one more? You, you good? Yeah, do another one. Thank you, Lou Coleman. 50 bucks. We appreciate it, sir. No, she's awesome. Lou Coleman. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. I think that uh, we all want to hear one more song from Albert Aguilar. Then we're going to go to a cooking segment. We're going to check back in with DG. Uh, and then our, our very own Adam Aguilar is going to close the show out. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks again to Michelle Boothion. He bought the Chef and Show, which is where Adam and I come into your home once all this is over. I cook dinner. Adam plays a show. And thank you so much. He's uh, La Baguette with his brother, Alain. Love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Close. He's close. Money can't buy the haircut that he has. So Trichology Salon would do Albert Aguilar haircuts, but no one else can wear that haircut. But they are doing free Joe Exotic haircuts. <laughs> Trichology Salon. No, half price Joe Exotics, free Gundies. Okay? <laughs> We're just doing some last minute tuning. Adam, we used to have Nikki Overly for me. Hi, Nikki Overly. That's from Mark. From Mark Klein. Handmade Homes, Chris Klein, one of our major sponsors tonight. Handmade Homes, thanks again. 
OAC Fitness is bringing lunch into Bradford Village Healthcare to the nursing staff. Thank you so much, Albert Aguilar and the crew over at OAC. I believe we are tuned and we're ready to go. It is not I Saw a Tiger, but it is one more song by the eighth wonder of the world, Albert Aguilar. I just want to thank you guys once again for being a part of this and, and, and helping the cause. Um, it is very much appreciated. My name is Albert Aguilar, and my brother Adam's coming up next. Um, I want to say hi to my brother Alex and my parents, Ned and Virginia. I love you, Mom and Dad. See y'all very soon. On the first page of our story, the future seems so bright. Then this thing turned out so evil. I don't know why I'm still surprised. Even angels have their wicked schemes. But you take them to new extremes. But you always be my hero even though you lost your mind and just gonna stand there and watch me burn and that's all right because i like the way it hurts and just gonna stand there and hear me cry that's all right because I love the way you lie. I love the way you thought. And now there's gravel in our voices, glasses shattered from the fire. In this tug of war, you'll always win, even when I'm right. Because you feed me favors from your hand with violent words and empty threats. And it's sick that all these battles our word keeps me satisfied and just gonna stand there and watch me burn and that's all right because i like the way it hurts and just gonna stand there and hear me cry and that's all right because i love the way you lie I love the way you lie. So maybe I'm a massacre. I try to run, but I don't want to believe till the walls are going up. And smoke with bone our memories. And just gonna stand there and watch me burn. And that's all right because I like the way it hurts. And just gonna stand there and hear me cry. And that's all right because I love the way you lie. I love the way you lie. I love the way you lie. I love the way you lie, lie, lie. I love the way you lie. 
Thank you guys again. All right. Are we back? You got me? Okay. Uh, guys, I want to talk about something uh, that's, that's one of the most important things of what we're doing here. We have had um, multiple donors and, and, and customers and, and what have you that have called and, and paid for food forward. Uh, what that means is if you are at home and you can't afford to, to go out and get food, what, whatever the case may be, there have been a number of people, Ned Aguilar, Alex Aguilar, OAC Fitness, the Klein family, uh, Mitch, Scott Fisher, Mitch McQuistian, any of those names that I just said, or you don't even really need to say one of those names, starting Monday back at 11 a.m. 6023006, call into VZDs and say, I need to come and pick up some food curbside. Any of those names. If you are watching and you know someone who can't afford any food, Remember the remember six zero two three zero zero six. That's just our number at VCDs. Call in. Thank you, Mitch McQuistian, Scott Fisher, Ned Aguilar, Alex Aguilar, the Klein family. Uh, we are sponsored by Handmade Homes is one of our is one of our major sponsors. Thank you to everyone that gave t uh, tonight. I'm going to do a quick cooking demo, um, and, th and then we're going to get to to Adam Aguilar. We're going to talk some more about DG's painting. Where's our What's our uh, bid? $700. Let's get that up. This is a $5,000 piece of art uh, that, that you will see it in a larger format uh, in one of DG's uh, large installation. Uh, 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 is that a it's commercial deal or what? Oh, no. This is with the U.S. government. The U.S. government will have a depiction of this in oh, large format. No, it's there. It's there. It's the there already. I'm, I'm, I was not well enough informed, but it's there already. He's recreating that here. Uh, I'm going to do a quick cooking demo. Then we're going to get to to Adam Aguilar to close the show out. Uh, so I think a lot of things in this in this time, I think we need to to we're all making. I know I am making things at home that will last several days uh, in the fridge, and I think that a lot of of things in the chefly world are sort of thought as as impossible or really hard or and, and that is true of some of, of of things that that some of our wonderful chefs around town and we have a lot of them make but some things just really aren't all that difficult emulsifying address addressing is is something that anyone could do at home that has a blender uh, you can make we're gonna make a balsamic vinaigrette you can keep it at home in the fridge it's gonna taste great on fish on salad on meat uh make a batch of this stick it away you can swap out the vinegars and uh, make make a different flavor this one certainly could have if you'd like add orange juice to it add sesame oil to add an asian flair to it you can kind of take this this general base and work off of it so what we have here is we have let's let's start with uh we're making a balsamic vinaigrette so we have balsamic vinegar uh, I like to put a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce in mine. I put cooked red onion in this actual vinaigrette. I've got roasted garlic, Dijon mustard, and oil. So when you emulsify a dressing, it's really taking the acidity level that's already there, and it makes it able to take on the, the oil without being broken, basically. Okay, so the first thing that we want to add is we can go ahead and add all of our vinegar, okay? We're going to add all of our Worcestershire sauce. Okay, we're going to add all of our red onion. Because that's going to just get blended up in there. The only tedious thing about this at all is adding the oil to it. Roasted garlic. And then a Dijon mustard. Okay, so once again, balsamic vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, cooked red onion, Dijon mustard. We are going to start this blending we have um, if I could turn this on that would help no I got it I got it it was it was all me okay so we're blend we're blended up I'm gonna these uh, most of the blenders these days have a little top that can come out. Don't take that off unless you want to spray dressing all over your kitchen. Don't take it off till it's already going. 
So you're going to take that off. So the acidity in the, in the vinegar and then purifying the onions and the other items in there is going to make it, can you see that? Can you see it, Christopher? So, so you see how it's one, when we talk about emulsifying, it means that it's one consistency. So it, the oil went into the other liquid and became one consistency. Who's going to eat this salad? Christopher? Is that Marcus? Okay, so, you know, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of it on there. We like to use a little bit of Japanese breadcrumb in our, in our salads on top of them. They make awesome croutons. So let's recap. Balsamic vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, cooked red onion, Dijon mustard, blend, 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 roasted garlic in there too, blend, blend, blend. Uh, then as it's blending, Work your, your olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, whatever you'd like, into there. Put it on your salad. Japanese breadcrumbs. I'm going to remove my gloves. I'm going to take this over to Mark. There we go. Balsamic salad, simple. You can use it on fish at home, uh, whatever you would like to do. Do we want to pull this up and come on stage with me, DG? You're, are we finished? Are we finished with the painting though? Do we want to show it and see? Okay, okay. We're not going to show it yet. What's our bidding at on the? 700 bucks right now. $700. Okay. Remember, one more, let's talk about one more time. We have a multitude of people. Handmade Homes is our sponsor. Uh, 6023006 is the number here at VZDs. You can call in if you can't afford to get to go food. You can call in if you know someone who can't afford to get to-go food. You can order it. Mention that, hey, hey I, I heard that people had paid ahead for food. Those people, for, for our purposes, are Ned Aguilar, OAC and Alex Aguilar, the Klein family, Mitch McQuistian, Scott Fisher, and several other people have been, on a, on a smaller level, have given in that manner. You can call in. You can pick up curbside food. Um, our next up is, is going to be Adam Aguilar and his lead guitar player, my favorite guitar player, Randy Sanders. In the meantime, let's, let's, I, want, I want to really try to, try to get the bid up for the painting. We are at $700. Please, this is going to be an amazing piece for your home. Uh, do we have... Who, who are we waiting? Joe, Joe, are we waiting on... Sound check? Is that what we're looking at? Stick with us, guys. I want to keep this going on the on the bidding for for DG's piece. I want to show. We're, they're moving it right now. We're going to look at it again. Uh, once again, th thank you so much to the Meat House. Thanks again to U.S. Foods. Mickey is our guy there, who's helping us out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move the cooking demo area, and we're gonna we're gonna show the painting one more time. Mark, how we doing on donations over there? You got anybody else to, to talk about? How about uh, painting? We've been talking about uh, no. Our last one was a little cold. Yeah, we're at 4,000, guys. I'm going to jump back down here while these guys tune up, and we're going to talk about DG's painting. All right, so you can see how amazing this turned out until I knocked it off in the floor. So, you know, just so you know, in reference to this work, what I normally do, most of what I do is here... Here in Oklahoma, it tends to be around governmental stuff. So if you go to Mayor Holt's office and thank God for Mayor Holt right now. Best mayor in the absolutely, country, Absolutely, thank opinion. you. Yeah, so David you walk, Holt, big ups. That's right. So if you walk into his office, he has only one original piece of artwork. And uh, he's Osage, Buffalo Clan, 
known him for a long time. When he started running, he goes, Dave, I want a painting. I'm Buffalo Clan. So I said, I'll give you a grand buffalo. So he has an eight foot by four foot buffalo behind his uh, desk. Oh, that's awesome. And then if you go to Kendra Horn, Congresswoman Horn's office in DC, you'll see another big piece that's there. So I've been very what is that? What is that one of? That one, well, you know, she worked with uh, Sally's List, you know, promoting yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, women to run for public office. So she wanted something that was very much women, uh, what we would call a Tushko Hoya or a warrioress going to D.C. And, but she wanted to be multi-hued, multi-ethnic. So I said, basically, you're talking like Shaka Khan. You want something that's oh, like from yeah. pro to braid. She's like, yeah. So you go there. It's a huge piece. And it's every time she gets a, you know, any kind of photo op at her play at her office, it's behind her. So oh, that's awesome. And, and I want to say, I want to say, hi to to David Holt. Absolutely, you are doing one hell of a job, sir. And to uh, Dr. Patrick McGue, who's over at Oklahoma City and Oklahoma County Public Health Services. Thank you for doing what you're doing. And as a little tag there. The guy used to babysit me as a kid. I so, love that. I love yeah, that. And Shaka Khan. Again. Speaking of Shaka Khan, Adam Aguilar might play a field for you by Shaka Khan. It was originally <laughs> by Prince later on. No, you've got about as good a chance of hearing that as you do uh, Albert singing I, I Saw a Tiger, right? So, the, so. you know, this is going to be like the one time you're going to get one of my pieces um, at a, <laughs> I guess, a rate that's uh, not normal. Unfortunately, you know, we, we've kind of conditioned uh, Oklahoma City residents to lowball in these things and, you know, not focus on what they're doing and why they're doing it. Your, this money is going to YWCA. Correct. This is staying with them and staying here in the community. So let's up that money. Let's get some money to YWCA to Jan Peary and what they're doing because they're going to need, unfortunately, they're going to need more of it in the next few weeks. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. The, so, so guys, uh, uh, part of this is to, uh, there, there are multi facets to what we're doing here. I, I really want to go back to the YWCA, DJ, DG Smalling is, go, is, is giving the, the proceeds from the painting to the YWCA. Uh, people can call in 602-306 starting Monday at 11 a.m. You can get food curbside. Absolutely. Uh, it's already been paid for. I mean, it's literally that's already what, been paid for. close the auction during Adam's set at 930. Yeah. So we okay, guys. Minutes, 30 minutes. We have 30 yeah. minutes. 30 minutes. Let's get this to a four-digit number. Right, right Mark? And I, you, you know, and I've said it before. Now? 700. Yeah. We got 750 from T. Dobbs in Nashville. Okay. So, yeah, you know, I know I... It's 750 right now from Peep Dobbs in Nashville, and so that's fantastic. We have another anonymous for 800. So now we're 800. Let's get this up there. I want to say, you know, this is not the first time I've lived through a, a, a situation in which you have this kind of a pandemic or social crisis. I'm a crisis manager by trade internationally, but growing up overseas, particularly in Central Africa, you know, I remember lockdown for months. I applaud our citizens here in Oklahoma City for taking this at a good stride, understanding that we have a great civil society. We've got a great government. I mean, let's face it, with David and, you know, and it, Steve and all them over there, JD, we were, this is great. We, we're in a solid space. And so the fact that we're here in a bar that's beloved by the city historically and doing something like this, it makes total sense that we're doing this. Absolutely. 80% discount as of right now, right? <laughs> right? At its current yeah, price, it's an 85% discount absolutely. of what it, what it ought to be. Because you ain't getting this another time. <laughs> this is it. This is it. <laughs> Anyone else that wants to do a live painting, uh, I, I mean, any of you guys, I, I gosh, I, I love Denise Duong's mm -hmm. art. There's anyone who has a cause that they want to come on here on one of our live streams. Absolutely. Do a live painting. Thank you so, so much, DG, for volunteering your time. And your words and your your everything, so, your energy. It, um, awesome guy. Adam, how close are you guys over there? Excellent. Okay. Let's Here's get job. let's 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 get at this uh, the bidding up on the on the painting for YWCA. I'm gonna come back to the stage. I'm going for one. All right. Uh, I want to give it one more maybe two more special thanks to spark creative if you've seen the quality of the video here it is absolutely stunning um, they are solely responsible for that respond flow is controlling our text mechanism which makes it easy to 
give and receive on there. If you have an event coming up, please think of these guys. U.S. Foods, the Meat House of Edmond, Michelle Bouthion, who I believe is our largest of the night, right? He bought the Chef and Show. Yes. Love you. La Baguette, Thank you, Michelle. Elan Bouthion, so lovely much. human beings. DG Smalling, you are a special talent, sir. Thank you very much. Hannah Edmondson, Albert Aguilar. This is going to be our last set of the night. This is our very own Randy Sanders, Adam Aguilar. So I'm gonna do this, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this set a lot, um, a lot like the way that we do our duo sets when Randy and I do them. And it's pretty much, Randy has no idea what I'm gonna play until it's being played. So, here we go. This first song is, uh, was written by a guy named David Ryan Harris. And it was on one of his records as well as one of the Tedeschi Trucks albums. It's called Shelter. Yeah. 
go. So uh, I do want to uh, speak on behalf of my, my brothers and sisters at VZDs and tell, let you guys know how thankful we are for all the donations. Um, and uh, DG's painting is still, is still live. So we've got about 25 minutes. And I think the bid is what, 800 bucks right now? We're at 800. You guys, don't let that, uh, don't let that thing slip away. And if you get it for 800 bucks, woo. Lucky you. No sunshine or when she gone.
Chris and Kayla Hill. Chris and Kayla Hill. Thank you, guys. Man, love y'all. Thank you for the donation. Mark, we got anything? A little bit. I can hear it really well. I gotta say, one of the things that's been a bright, shining light this weird time that we're living in is that you can feel love. There's a lot of love online, on social media. There's still some of the politics and all the negativity too, but you can feel people kind of changing how they approach things and how they approach the way they talk to people. I, for one, really appreciate that. So if you're making a conscious effort to be kinder and to show more love, it's good for you. Because that is what we need right now. Donnie Goyette. If Donnie Goyette's watching, this one's for you.
Tell you what, we really appreciate your support. We really appreciate you guys just watching. Um, it's what's that? Ah, oh, Jeff Street, my brother Jeff Street. Yes, Chris, Chris and Kayla Hill from Tulsa. Amanda Berenger. Oh, Amanda, how are you doing, Amanda? Hope you're having a glass of wine. Who's that? And Sally or Cox? And Andrew, and Andrew Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, they're, they, they come eat here a lot. They're wonderful. People. Yes. Thank you, guys. So where are we at with painting? Uh, we're at 800 with the painting, but I got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes on the painting. It's, remember, 85% discount if, it's, if it sells as it is. DG Smalling, one of our... We make that, too. One of our most cherished artists um, from Oklahoma has done a live painting here. It is spectacular. Are you guys ready to ready to rock out one more time? We're gonna do more than one. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We're the, I mean, we don't get to play. Play on! Yeah. As <laughs> often as we're used to. to play. So. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, guys. We're gonna uh, play. Let's get the bids up on the painting. Uh, thank you. Thank you to Hannah Edmondson. Thank you to Albert Aguilar. Woohoo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the record comes out whenever we are off of uh, quarantine and we have a festive party, likely in this venue, right? Yes. We I think will. I hear the lead in to one of the songs that I personally love. Yeah. Is that what I heard? Yeah. 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 That's what you heard. All right. This is a, <laughs> this is a uh, Adam Aguilar original with the Arandas. We love you. Yes. Gabe and Damien Aranda, Aranda, we love family. you guys. James right. Connor. I gotta give on. my boy James Connor a shout. If, you, uh, if you're a musician looking to record or make a, make a record, James Connor at Bo Studios is unbelievable. So you guys go make a record with him ASAP. Unbelievable. unbelievable. Um, I do want to thank my brother Albert for, for playing yeah, and yeah, what a talent he is. He like is. A, I do, I get inspired every time I see my brother play. Um, you like love you. And Hannah, Hannah and Joe put out one of the most beautiful records I've honestly ever heard. And you guys need to hear it too. So iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, all the, all the downloadable uh, uh, content you can find on, the, on Hannah Edmondson, uh, please do. They made this record in, in Joe Hopkins' studio at his home, and it just sounds so amazing. So please go check that out. This one's called So Right. Soda. How do they not hear it? 
I can see my money yours. Can't explain it, but I know you're so right, so right. I see a beautiful disaster. I can see the final masterpiece. So right, so right. I know you're not alone when you need to let it go somehow. See you moving closer Yeah, closer to the truth We're poetry in motion So forget the lie you do Do you need a sort of hope? I can see my mind in yours Can't explain it, but I know A beautiful disaster. I can see the final masterpiece. So right, so right, all right. Just know you're not alone when you need to let it go We got an update on the, on, the, on the painting yet? So let's, let's flash over to DG real quick. We got four minutes left. Man, and check yeah. out this piece of work, this masterpiece that and DG just, just so did you know, right here in the venue. And just so you know, for social distancing, yes, I have my Lamp Berger, which is incinerating all he things very, around me. Very social Because I am conscious. a clean mofo. <laughs> yes, all right. And so, if, you can no, if you notice, Randy and I, yes, not it's exactly over there. We usually are. And by the way, I kind of want to hear you guys do a Santana Victory is One sometime. Man, I wish oh, we you two, right uh, Victory is One would actually My be righteous right there. All right. So we have, I'm not sure what we're at right now. Are we still at 800? Let's bring this up over 1,000. Let's get some stuff. Let's get more to Jam Peary and the crew over at YWCA. I think that what they're going to be doing in the next yes. uh, few weeks so is unfortunate that they're necessary. I'm glad that they are there. And at this moment, when we are really doing this kind of civil society, citizen to citizen, pardon the French, let's just get this shit done. And so, Indeed. there we go. Thank you, DG. And thanks again for your time. And thanks for being it's here, It's my pleasure. So this song is uh, it's called Peregrine. Albert and I used to play this back in our old band, Sabrosa. If any of the Sabrosa guys are watching, mm -hmm. hello. It's, it's uh, called Peregrine, and it was written by a band uh, called Breed Love from Austin, Texas, who I, we loved at the time. I still revisit their material often. This one's called Peregrine. Not 
another time in another place where so set free and the mind's at ease and the worst to come has already been and the day flies by like a peregrine a wishing well with a thing to sell a hopes and dreams a priceless thing not a single thought has bought the soul the day flies by like a pair of for a little while when the hope of sin the lights were dim. I swear it was a whispered cry in the heavy night. Oh, we would be someone. I swear it like a summer sea. So Another time in another place, so set free, my daddy, and the worst to come, the red living, they fly by like a peregrine for a little while with a hope of sin. And the lights were dim. I swear, sin was a whispered cry. In the heavy night, we would be someone.
All right, two announcements. Austin Graham, we didn't shout you out. You're shouted out. Austin Graham. Thank you, Austin Graham. Thank you, Austin. Get an Adam Aguilar shout out, too. Okay, we are at 4,600 bucks, guys. Thank you so much. Amazing, amazing, amazing. What we would like to do is to get another 400 out of DG's painting for Which the YWCA. Which goes straight to the YWCA. That would take us to five grand. Who out there has got the cojones <laughs> <laughs> to own a wonderful piece of art that is also uh, in our nation's capital in a larger format? Gigantic opportunity. 400 more bucks. Adam and Randy are going to play for another three, four hours. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, we'll only play a little bit longer. Play, they Chris are, and Christopher are like, seriously, they I are sure going to. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, ladies Again, we got to give, we got to give it up to Spark Creative. Spark yes. Creative, we could, we could Chris not do this without guys these guys. So these guys jumped in on this early and we couldn't do it without you. It looks so professional and... Yeah, that's it, guys. If you want a half-price Joe Exotic haircut, please go to Trichology Salon. If you want a Mike Gundy haircut, it's free. Uh, half-price bosses. They're doing bosses for half-price. Let's get another 400 bucks out of the DG Smalling painting for YWCA. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Randy Sad Sanders and Adam Aguilar. So I do have to give it up to my brother Randy Sanders over here. I mean, brother, in every sense of the word. This is my dude, my, my, my partner at all my shows. I got to get up to the rest of our bandmates that aren't here tonight. Austin Spear, uh, Greg Zink. We have dr drummers aplenty. <laughs> hey, Corey White, Jordan Oliver, Gabriel Nightingale, Parker Skillings, all those guys, man. Thank you so much for, for playing in a band with us. Um, we did an Ian Moore song last week, and for those of you guys that know me, I'm a huge fan, and I'm honored to be able to call in my friend now. We like to do this one. It's called Blue Sky. Try to keep it inside 
So many people go through life Seems they just get by Now I know the truth I know the truth Cut up all the hair sometimes But hey, yeah, I don't mind oh, yeah. No, nobody said It turned out to be mine Said my, 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 my I, I don't mind Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah All right, we're still at 800 for the painting. We're going to do the final auction for DG's painting after this next song, which I don't know what's going to be, but it, yeah, I do. Sure. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know this is a rough time, and um, I watched some of my friends' online shows last night. Uh, Twigs had a great show from Pony Boy. Noah Ng had a great show from, from his garage. What up, Noah? Um, uh, oh, Joey and Melvin had a great show last night. Saw that. Saw the reruns. Yeah, yeah. So um, big ups, man, to to all of our all of our peers in the music biz. Again, I can't thank uh, you guys enough for what you do for the city and 
I, I don't think a lot of people realize it until now. You know, it, there's something about music that binds, that binds all of us together. You know, even if you're not just a huge music, music junkie, you, you still have songs that you associate with, with certain times in your life. Um, I know that's probably true for, for 90 plus percent of you. So in this time, let love shine, let, let music let music do some healing and um, support your local artists. Support DJ, uh, DG, sorry, DG. Support DG, support, support us, please. Support our friends. And uh, this one's by George Michael.
This is something you should know. I think it's time I tell you so. Something deep inside of me. Somewhere else I've got to be. Take back your picture in a frame. Back your seeing in the rain. Hope you understand. Sometimes the clothes you not. Gentlemen, we did go over a thousand dollars on the DG Smalling painting. All anonymous, right. anonymous, right, anonymous. Ten fifty. Indeed. That's Thank you so much, YWCA. sir. Thank you, DG. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to uh, Spark Creative. You guys are awesome, Chris and Christopher. This would not be possible without you. Respond Flow. Joe Hopkins, our sound guy. Joe Exotic Hopkins. Joe Exotic. Joey Zali Hopkins, Trichology Your Salon. Handmade Homes. Handmade Homes, Chris <laughs> Klein. <laughs> you bad mofo. How did I do not cussing tonight? Pretty good, right? Yeah, you know, How many times did I cuss, guys? Like three? A couple words, a couple of BSs. Not bad. That doesn't though. count. That does not count. It doesn't count. count. I then I didn't cuss at all. That's not cussing. I didn't cuss at all. Thanks to Albert Aguilar. Yes, you, you, you look like. Have you said the painting? Said the painting. Anonymous, right? 
Anonymous is done at 10:50. Okay, so for the painting, can you can you jump over here real quick? So Alan Carter, okay, thank wait, wait, you so on. much for, so for, for uh, helping us out. Being okay, a, hold on. Go. For the painting, what you need to do is contact everybody here at BZDs. You'll collect this at my studio. They will arrange the time. It'll it's downtown Oklahoma City. It's across the street from Kitchen 324 at Carnegie Center, so it's really easy to get to. And I will have this all kitted out for you, and it'll be ready. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much for donating that to YWCA here in Oklahoma City. Back, back to, back live. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Randy Sanders, the best guitar player in the history of Oklahoma. Yeah, the best guitar player in town. Thanks to somebody, uh, I want to thank uh, the meat, the the the, the meat house. Okay. I want to thank OAC. For sending, uh, for sending uh, lunch to the Bradford Village. It's an assisted living facility in Edmond. They will be getting free lunch on OAC and on VZDs to this coming Friday. Probably Joe Exotic Hopkins and I will deliver that to them. We'll glove up and deliver. We'll drop it Joe off right there. Stick. Yeah. That's, that's sticking. Yeah. Sticking for me anyways. Yeah. Our de facto sponsors, Trichology Salon, free Joe Exotic haircut. No, half price, Joe Exotics. Free Gundies, free Bozzes. All of our sports animal friends, thank you guys. Uh, Kerry Murdoch, Curtis Fitzpatrick, Spinozzi, they, they sent in the uh, Roadhouse donation. Uh, that was code. Handmade Homes, Chris Klein, you savage. We can't wait thank to have Chris. that. Yes, can't wait to have you back here. Um, yeah. Once again, let, hey, let's thank uh, Scott Fisher, Mitch McQuistian, um, all the folks who paid forward food, Ned Aguilar, Alex Aguilar at the thank OAC. Thank you again, Michelle, Michelle Boothion. Uh, Michelle Boothion, chef like and show. All right. Uh, we're gonna, what is Joe? last one. This is for Alex Aguilar. What does Joey, D, what does Joey Diaz always say? Kick that fucking mule, Adam. <laughs> Kick that fucking mule. Just wanted to cuss. I hope Brian McMasters is watching. He'd be like, he just wanted to cuss. All right, thank you very much for allowing me to be here. Yeah, it was fun, right? You were awesome. Oh, 
strange with desire make foolish people do well I never dream that I love somebody like you I never dream that I knew somebody like you no I guys so much for tuning in. What do you got for me, Marcus? <laughs> Natasha and Nick, Goodland. Uh, hey, Noah. Noah Goodland. No, no, no. He's, he stays up. We talked about this the other night. He doesn't have a bedtime. He's on, he's on vacation. Hey, Nick and Natasha, thank you guys so very much. Appreciate it, man. Um, <clears throat> I think that's it. You guys, I, we, can't, uh, we can't tell you how thankful we are and to, to Creative and, um, and DG. Uh, you, guys, you, guys are, you guys are amazing, uh, and this has, been, um, this has been awesome. Thank you all.